Hello there, I'm Shane Young, and I get the privilege of helping you learn Copilot Studio. But before we start, I did want to let you know that I worked with the Microsoft product team to create this awesome training for all of you Power Platform rock stars. Cool? Cool. Okay, let's get to it. First up, let's hear from my buddy Jack. He is from Microsoft and part of the product team for Copilot Studio, and basically the most famous person on LinkedIn for agent and related content. So I thought I would have him join us periodically along the way to talk about things he's better at than I am. No, not backgammon, but the big picture around agents and their future. Does Jack even play backgammon? Eh, he's still better than me. Anyway, here he is to discuss what are agents, why agents are so important, where they are headed, and why you are in the right place. Cool? All right. Then here's Jack. Hi, I'm Jack Robotham. I'm one of the product marketing managers for Copilot Studio. I would just want to say how excited I am for all of you to be learning about how to use Copilot Studio with Shane Young. Um, so what I want to do is spend a couple of minutes just talking about what are agents, just to understand those foundational concepts before you go even uh, deeper into Shane's content and how you can start to build out your agents for yourself. So first of all, I want to talk about Copilot and agents. Uh, two different terms that maybe many people have heard about, but not quite sure what they mean. And so essentially at Microsoft, we talk about Copilot and agents as two separate things. Copilot being your personal AI assistant that every employee in your organization will have. It's grounded in your work data. It understands who you are, the data that you're working on. So it feels even more personalized as you start to interact with it. And so that's where we describe the concept of the UI for AI because the Copilot will be your single place, your single source for experiencing all of your AI needs. And now we have this second concept of agents, uh, which have become increasingly popular over the last couple of months and years. And so at Microsoft, every business process will have an agent. So while Copilot is working for you on a one-to-one -one experience, uh, business, uh, business processes and agents at scale will be working across your team and across your organization. So one-to-many experience. Um, they have their own set of instructions, their own set of knowledge and actions, and Shane's going to bring that to life for you as well. Now, the important thing to think about is that agents aren't just chat-based. They're not just conversational. They're also becoming increasingly autonomous. So they can have um, events and triggers that can then start to dictate when that agent will start to do its work. It might be when an email comes in, when a file gets added, or when a, a response is added into Dataverse. You can kind of pick when you want your agent to begin its work. And so if you understand those two concepts of your co-pilot and your agent, that's when the co-pilot is the UI for AI starts to come to life. It's all about the human having that single interface to experience the plethora of agents that you have across your ecosystem. So you jump into co-pilot, it knows you, your workplace, and then it calls the relevant agents as needed. So it might be your uh, time off agent to, to book some time off. It might be HR policies or onboarding, all experienced through the context of Copilot. And underlaying that is our Copilot control system to make sure that you have the right security, the right controls, and the right analytics and oversight to know how they're performing. So let's talk about what are agents as well. At the highest level, we kind of described it, but ultimately they are AI programs that help you automate and execute business processes. So you'll see those examples come to life. And I love to describe them in different behaviors that you'll start to see agents have because not all of them are the same and they all perform and act in different ways. The simplest way I describe it is that they operate across the spectrum from the simplest ones that are retrieval based. Those are agents that are just helping you get questions or answer questions over your data that you grounded in. We've seen that with, for example, Copilot Studio Agent Builder in Microsoft 365 Copilot. So super simple, but quick wins. And that's where many organizations are using agents today. And in that second part is what if agents can start to do work for you? So not just answering questions, but also interacting with your line of business applications. So as you start to add APIs and actions from our Power Platform Connector experience, that really starts to allow those agents to really take that action for you. And in the final piece, as we mentioned, retrieval and task tend to be more conversational. A human asks for the help, they give the response, and then they get, get the assistance. But what if we throw away the chat pane, and now those agents are just working behind the scenes. They're looking for those triggers, and then completing those workflows. They might use elements of our agent flows and Power Automate experience. It might use connectors, might use topics, and so many, so much more. So that progressive line of spectrum uh, of, of behaviors for agents come into play as you start to understand what you're trying to build and the outcome and the value that you want to experience. 
ultimately they vary in complexity and you might be a different part of the spectrum depending on the solution and the requirements needed. Now the exciting part for all of you is that IDC is projecting 1 billion new logical applications by 2028. And of course, not everyone is going to be a professional developer being able to meet that demand. And in fact, a significant proportion of those are going to be agents in addition to apps and power automate flows. So start to think about how you can be that next developer, whether it's a low code um, citizen developer or partnering with your pro devs to build at scale to meet that growing capacity across functions like customer service, finance, field service, IT, HR, you name it. There's so many scenarios. And so just to pull out a few, you can see here, um, for example, demand generation, being able to create uh, a content creation agent that allows you to maybe create the next marketing brief. Maybe it's IT help desk, helping you resolve some of your most common uh, queries about technology. Maybe it's helping you go for your finance processes, looking for invoice discrepancies and saving you, saving you costs ultimately, or even customer service, helping your customer service scale and giving proactive product scenarios. There's so many um, that you can pick and design your agents for. And that's what's so exciting about Copilot Studio. And so as I come to a close, I just want you to start to think about how are these agents addressing your business problems today? Um, it's very easy to go, hey, it's a brand new technology. Let's apply it to all my existing problems. But there's a top down and there's a bottom up approach to starting to think about this. How can you put agents in the hands of your end users to start to build out those problems, those closest to the problem that know the specific details that can really help you scale your uh, development capacity? And then there's also how can we get our leaders to enforce and help promote agent development from the top down as well with your IT teams and your professional developers providing that um, enterprise grade technology to help resolve new problems um, that you've never, never really considered before. The exciting part is that Microsoft is the best platform to be building your agents. We spoke about being integrated into the UI for AI. So if you have Microsoft 365 Copilot, you can bring all of those internal agents into that experience. Secondly, it's grounded in your company data. It knows you, it knows what you're working on. So you can ground it into the most important graph data as an example, SharePoint, and much more. Thirdly, and probably most importantly, as you build out these agents, you've got to understand that they're secure by design, um, that you have the right controls to make sure that you can share them across your organization in a safe and secure manner. Fourthly, being able to act across the systems and channels that work for you. The, the most valuable part is when these agents are interacting where you want to interact with them. So not just Copilot, but also on your website or in a specific mobile app or on social media serving your customers. Next, having the latest models and orchestration engines. So we're continuously improving the models and bringing out the latest Azure OpenAI models, for example, 4.5 into the Copilot Studio experience so you can use the latest and greatest technology. And finally, building your agents your way. We're gonna focus so much in this training session with Shane on Copilot Studio, but you can easily upgrade and start to use concepts inside of Azure for more pro development and publish them back into Copilot Studio, similar to how you'd extend as a developer in Power Apps or even Power Automate with Visual Studio Code and much more. So just to close, Copilot Studio is the place to build these agents in a low code style. So whether you wanna go no code from agent builder to some more advanced experiences that you're gonna see with the Excel-like logic with PowerFX and much more, Copilot Studio is an exciting place to be. And so I can't wait to see what you're gonna build. Thanks, Jack. Now that the table has been set for agents, let's you and I jump into the next video where I'm going to show you just how far ahead of everyone else you are because of your existing Power Apps and Power Automate skills. That's right, it's very far ahead. High five. So I'll see you in that video in just a second.